everyone, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, mga kababayan. Bago pa lahat, gusto ko magpasalamat sa mga nag-like and subscribe sa aking previous video. Ngayon po, ay gusto kong i-share sa inyo ay yung katanungan ng iba kung paano ko ginawa ang animation sa aking previous video. Stay tuned! First step is to plan your lesson and prepare your script. The next step is to search and collect the animated GIF pictures in Google and save it in your desktop. Next step, create your PowerPoint presentation. Now it's time for us to make the PowerPoint presentation. So you can use any type of PowerPoint uh, template, to, but in my case, I use the Keynote. So you can choose a template that you want to use here. So meron pong nakaready ng template, so mamimili lang po kayo. So in my case, I want to use this one, the chalkboard template. So just edit the template. Baka ready na po siya. Ita-type nyo na lang po kung ano yung gusto nyo ilagay sa PowerPoint nyo. So this one, I use this as my core page. Live processes. Ito po yung ginawa ko last time na video. Then you can write your, uh, your title or your name or any link po na gusto nyong isulat like yung sub subtitle niya. Then after po niyan, pwede niyo siyang i-adjust pababa or ilagay sa center. Now, ngayon po, dun sa aking nakaraang PowerPoint uh, or slides, ay gumamit ako ng moving GIF or moving pictures. So, isinave ko na po yun sa aking desktop. So, Ang gagawin ko na lang po is to just drag and drop the moving photos in my PowerPoint. So last time I used the robot, the moving robot. So you just need to drag and drop it in your PowerPoint presentation. And then po, since malaki siya, just adjust the size. So adjust the size, it depends on your own preference. So ganyan po ang paglagay ng uh, moving pictures or moving GIF or animated pictures in your PowerPoint presentation. So, let's do another one. Yung aking cat, moving cat. So, you just need to drag and drop the photo or pictures and then adjust the size. So, ganun lang po kadali ang paggawa ng animated or paggamit ng animation sa inyong PowerPoint presentation. Then you just click the play and then it is now moving. So as you can see. Okay po, ganyan po ang dapat niyong gawin sa mga susunod niyong slides. So you just need to add the slides, choose the template, and then edit. So in this case, I want to write movement. The first process in Mrs. Grant. So adjust and then write the meaning change and position then the usual change the photo or edit the photo go to your collections of moving gif or moving pictures or animated pictures so i want to use this photo and then adjust it adjust the size you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger there you go po Yan na po ang ating animated uh, pictures in our PowerPoint or in my PowerPoint presentation. So do the rest in any in other slides. Just edit and drag and drop the picture.
Now for the final step of our animated PowerPoint presentation, add animations in your text and pictures and build up the order. Now for the final step po is to add an animation do sa mga text na ginawa ninyo kanina. So let's say ilalagyan po natin ng animation itong mga text na ginawa ko. Let's live processes. Uh, i-click niyo lang po yung animate dito na, nasa right side. Ang uh, keynote po may mga naka-ready na pong animate. So if you click that, you can see add an effect. So for example, ang gusto kong effect is move in. And then, um, from top to bottom. Pwede niyo po siyang i-preview kung ano itsura niya. Ganyan po ang itsura niya. So, nag-move in siya, pababa. And then, yung name ko po, gusto ko rin na magkaroon ng effect. So, I want to use the shimmer. So, there you go po. Nakita niyo po na nag-shimmer yung aking name. So, ganyan po ang paggawa ng effect or pagdagdag ng effect sa inyong PowerPoint presentation. So, do the rest sa ibang mga text na ginawa ninyo. So, after that, pwede nyo na po siyang gawa ng build up or build order. So, kung sino po yung mauuna. Let's say yung robot, gusto ko siyang mag-start on my click. And then yung cat, gusto ko siyang mag-start or mag-move uh, with uh, build one or you can do it with after build one so let's say gusto ko po siya mag, mag move with build one and then yung life processes gusto ko siyang mag move after build two and then yung aking name gusto ko siyang mag move after build three so ganyan pang itsura niya so later on makikita niyo po lahat yung final na um the final finish ng kanyang movement or animations. So, gawin na po natin yung iba. Ito na po ang ating finished product na slides or PowerPoint presentation.